Hi, Father. What is your advice to people who suffer from scrupulosity? How do I become fear? How do I overcome my fear of God in hell? It comes back to what I've already been talking about. That's why I get real strong on people who have come to confession. I say, you got to get over yourself. And then I say, it's not just because you know you want to get over yourself. You know you want to get over fear of damnation and fear of hell. Um, the only way, like again, I've said that I have no fear of going to hell. I deserve hell, but I have no fear of going there. Why? Two things. Jesus Christ paid for my sins on the cross. He fulfilled the justice of God. That's called grace. So you need to focus a, little, uh, uh, a lot on the grace of God, what Jesus Christ did for you. So instead of being focused on yourself and fearful and everything, you're focused on Jesus and grateful. Gratefulness, gratitude can kill fear. But if you're still focused on yourself, think about and try to think of God as God, that this God of love, if the only the reason he created you is to damn you, now you have free will, of course, I'm not going into all these things, but if you're trying with all your heart to do God's will and you keep falling, he's there to pick you up. Jesus is praying for you. It says in Hebrews, Jesus lives forever to intercede for us. So God is on your side. So he's gonna help you. But when you repent, and say, God, I don't want to do it my way. I want to do it your way. The thing that keeps you in repentance, again, is knowing his love. So I was just having a conversation again today with someone who was that very thing. And I says, you got to come to know the love of God. So what I encouraged him to do was to put scriptures, put in Google, scriptures to help you know God's love. And I gave him one from last Sunday uh, that says, John chapter 15, verse 9, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. And I said, I want you to sit with that verse every day. Just sit with it and let God say that again and again to you. You can also go to Mark chapter 1, verse 11. You are my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. And the biggest thing to remember when you pray is that you're called to be focused on God who is love. But when you go to pray and you're saying your prayers and you're focused on yourself and a fear of hell and damnation and guilt and shame, you're only focusing on yourself. And God comes to you in, in prayer and he says, why when you come into my presence, do you look at you? Why when you come into my presence, don't you look at me? That when you and I look at him, he says, you're my beloved son, you're my beloved daughter and I'm pleased with you. But the devil loves to tell us, no, you're no good, you're a sinner, you deserve damnation, you're going to hell. Who are you gonna listen to? The accuser? who night and day accuses them before God, as it says in Revelation about the devil, or God the Father, who sent Jesus to die for your sins. God does everything in his power as God to save you. Work with him. Surrender to him. Let him love you. And that's what's going to transform you. Okay?